I'd like to recognize Senator Blackburn uh, for her questions. <laughs> And, and I you. also want to just take note that I have a lot of power now because I'm effectively. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, thank and you. I'm effectively the acting chair. <laughs> Senator Booker, if you and I had all the power we needed, we would straighten out this NCAA NIL mess. Amen. Hallelujah. As well as a bunch of other things. Uh, welcome to everyone. Thank you for being here for the hearing. Uh, one of the things I repeatedly say is we need to make it easier to vote and harder to cheat. That is what Tennesseans want to see. Easier to vote, harder for people to cheat. And Tennessee has really made some great progress when it comes to addressing how they run elections. And so many different organizations, uh, secretaries of state, different ones have recognized Tennessee for having the most secure elections in our country. And Mr. Spakovsky, I think your organization is one of those that has recognized Tennessee. And you know, making it easier to vote, making certain those votes are secure is something that should not be controversial at all. Now, I think one of the things that has played a role in Tennessee is the fact that a photo ID is required. And I have to show a photo ID when I go to get on a plane, when I go to the pharmacy to get a prescription, when I go to a grandchild's school. Um, if I'm checking in for an appointment somewhere, you always have to show a photo ID. And um, that is something, it's a basic security measure, but I know there are states like California, Illinois, New York, and they have not implemented that. So, uh, Mr. Spakovsky, I want to do. I do want to come to you. Talk a little bit about how Tennessee is ranked number one when you look at election integrity and safe elections, and then talk about the need for a photo ID. Can I, let me take the second one first. Sure. I, look, I just don't know why we're even still arguing about ID requirements. Like I said, uh, they've been in place in many states um, since the 2008 election. Uh, all the studies show that uh, not only did registration turn out not go down in those states, uh, it increased. Georgia, one of the first states to put it in, uh, has had record turnout. And like I said, that one of the reasons is Everybody's talking about, oh, people can't get an ID. Every state has put in a free ID for anyone who doesn't already have one, but Americans overwhelmingly have ID. So it's just not an issue. And the polling, look, Americans disagree <laughs> a lot of stuff. But one thing they agree on, and this has stayed consistent over the past decade, is uh, it, it doesn't matter whether you're black or white, Hispanic, Asian, or whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, Overwhelmingly, Americans say ID is a common sense requirement because they have to do it every day. And On, if I can interject right here, yeah. not only do Americans overwhelmingly support that, then Justice Stevens wrote in the Crawford case supporting right. photo ID. Yeah, he, he, uh, he wrote the majority opinion of upholding the constitutionality of it. Um, by the way, that was over Indiana's voter ID law, and with the new law in place in 2008, Barack Obama won the state of Indiana, the first Democrat to win it, I think, in, since the 1960s. Um, on, on integrity in general in Tennessee, uh, in 2021, the Heritage Foundation, where I work, premiered a election integrity scorecard. We came up with almost 50 different criteria, best practices recommendations, um, on how states should handle their elections. And it covers everything from making sure you have accurate uh, voter registration lists to making sure you give you have full transparency so that observers of all the parties uh, can watch what's going on. And then we rated each state according to their rules and regulations in place. And we continually update it. Um, I think Tennessee now is at the top of our rankings because they've made a whole series of changes to improve the security of the election process. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. You're very welcome. And just uh, 